Hello and welcome back everyone to another Mortal Kombat mobile video. And while I'm still sneezing and coughing my heart out, those sneaky developers decided to drop an update tomorrow, way faster than expected. And as it seems, we will have three new variations for Kitana, Devora and Melina. I would have actually wished it were completely new characters with new gear to unlock but it's definitely a nice thing and I assume that maybe Melina could actually be this already announced third assassin character but of course that's me just making assumptions we will actually have to see what's really included also announced our new challenges which we definitely need right now because it's getting kind of boring to play the old challenges over and over again stat boosts which i kind of assume that it might be for some of our weaker older cards that's very welcome as well and more whatever that means so we will have to see but before we get to the update let's get into today's team this time i have put together a team composed of martial artists starting with classic Liu kang Shaolin Master Kung Lao and Aftershock Tremor because I really think that the combination with Classic Liu Kang and Aftershock Tremor is a pretty intense one. Liu Kang will start with two bars of power and it's totally fine to put those on Classic Liu Kang because he will not be able to be power drained and because he doesn't need any protection from the buffs or anything I gave him Dramon's Mask for some points in Faction Wars and his own gear for block breakability and power generation. Shaolin Master Kung Lao will start with Moloch's Ball and Chain for block breakability on special attacks, the ability to have three special twos and lethal blows, Storm Hat for some power generation as well as Soul Medallion to cut the power cost of special 2s in half and also add some power generation. Aftershock Tremor will go with the bladed fan and his earth elemental face mask. Both combined heal on special 1 and bloody voodoo doll for some extra power generation and reduce power cost by 15% in faction wars. And as usual, of course, his own gear gives a 30% resistance to the buffs. And due to his passive, all martial artists, fighters in his team will have a chance for block break against Netherrealm characters. So then let's get into hard battle. When starting with Classic Liu Kang, who has already two bars of power, it's a nice idea to kick him up to an X-Ray right away. Now the attack to Kung Lao. Unfortunately now Piercing Melina came in. The problem is that I love to perform special twos with Kung Lao and she gets a bar of power from the bleed effect. So let's try our luck with Tremor. Uh, stun resistant. And now immune to damage for a short amount of time, but that could not really matter that much. Oh, Melina is doing damage. Let's see if we can get some health back on special one. Ah, a little. And it took her out. That works too. Then I would just say let's tag to Kung Lao and work some special tools off. Ah, another one. Goodbye Sub Zero. And for Jax, we just use Classic Liu Kang's X ray. That's why we worked it up. And he needs it for feats of strength as well. And it should actually guaranteed the victory, which it did.
Next up we start against Day of the Dead Aaron Black. Oh, and they all have two bars of power, so we should tag. No, it didn't even cripple. Then let's see if we can do some damage with Tremor. And immediately tag back to Liu Kang. That crippled this time. Let's see if we can get rid of her. Uh, of course, Revenant Shield. But she's gone. Back to Tremor. Now she's crippled and stunned. So let's get him up to a special 2. And then let's see if we can take out Jade this way. And of course we get the Bone Shield and the Revenant Shield at the same time. So let's perform a special 1. It will be long enough to take her out with the last hit. Oh, now I lost my Lucan. That's because he's not maxed out. But that doesn't really matter, we still have two strong fighters in our team. And Aaron Black is alone, facing now from Lao's Wrath. Some bleed damage. Lock break from Aaron Black due to his revolvers, I guess. Another special too, and that's the victory. Now we're up against Assassin Kitana. I spot another Shaolin Master Kung Lao and the Dark Emperor Liu Kang. So pretty much the same team minus Kitana. I have Tremor instead and my Liu Kang is already at an X-Ray. Let's keep that for Liu Kang. Let's see if we can get some special 2 damage. And my Monarch's Baller chained did a nice block break and ensured me a second. Oh, bad reflect of damage. But special 1 should take him out. Here comes Liu Kang and he gets the X-Ray. Let's see if that takes him out. As I said, my classic mechanic is not maxed out, so his damage is a little limited. Ah, but it was enough. And now, Power Drain, which gives him extreme damage boost on basic attacks. And here we have the next fight. Now we are facing Classic Liu Kang, which is why I removed my Classic Liu Kang from the first slot to not boost him with my Blaze's Life Force. Let's see if we can get rid of him. Yep, that worked. Hellspawn Scorpion is definitely a good candidate for Tremor, because he needs to knock out Scorpions. But Shao Kahn seems to be the weakest link. So let's just tag to Kung Lao. He can deal with Shao Kahn. So we can leave Tremor for Scorpion. Oh, Scorpion has a solid block break. But here comes Tremor. And why don't we just go up to an X-Ray? Maybe a little tag to Liu Kang. Perform a special one. And he's Nether Realm, so there is the block break from Tremor. I may save this one not to kill Scorpion by accident. 
back to Tremor and we should be able to get to the X-Ray just to have it visually stunning, we don't need it for our feats of strength or anything it just looks nice to end the match like this and that was the victory Here we go with the next match. Undead Hunter Johnny Cage. Could we tag in Tremor, who immediately pulled in Elder God Kenshi, which might not be a bad idea because Kenshi is mostly the dangerous one in that team. So the faster he's gone, the better. So let's just perform a special one just to get rid of him. Yep, that worked. Very good. Just gonna switch to Tremor again. Just to keep them crippled constantly. And Tremor also needs combo enders. The X-ray from Liu Kang. Uh, oh, lucky that didn't kill, so let's just block until Liu Kang is ready. And here he goes. Another X-ray to end the match properly. And that was the victory. Well then I would say this brings us already to another pack opening. I think I'm just going with feats of strength today. Not really having that many souls to spend right now. And I'm still trying to get my final fusion for Spec of Scorpion, but it's kind of tedious. Not really lucky this time. But let's see. I probably should have saved up some souls for the update, but, well, you only live once. And since I only need one fusion for Spec Ops Scorpion, I was kind of thinking maybe that might, should have a priority right now while the Strike Force pack is up. But I already heard that it's like almost impossible to get to a good card unless you spend like 10,000 souls or something if you want something specific. So I'm just trying. Not really expecting much though. But all it takes is some lucky day and one day this little fusion will come in and I will be happy to have maxed out Spec Ops Scorpion. Uh, here with the feats of strength packs we're totally unlucky again as it seems. Oh but well. Now we're just waiting for that update to drop. I hope that my little video is distracting you a little from the waiting time. I guess we're pretty done here now too, that was the pack number 5. So I'm gonna end this video here, 
I thank you all for watching. I hope you had a good time, enjoyed it. And I will see you then with probably update 2.2. And you all know the drill. Wound, not kill. Have a good one. And see you next time.